of Brookfield Selectman's uh, meeting of Thursday, March 24th, 2019. If you'd like to rise and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Thank you
uh, and make payable the following week so that way they're presented at the selectmen's meeting Tuesday evening so you have them to go yeah. over and and just read through and make sure and then this would eliminate the four warrants being done on the same date just kind of as they were in February and actually this will comply with the auditor's request for um, to limit some confusion except for the one on the last day of the month because that could fall on a non-working day yeah. Friday Saturday whatever uh, let's see um, that also would go with the bank's requirement. You have um, your banking account, which is a money market account, which only allows six withdrawals per month by law. And it's a good account to have because it certainly gives you higher interest. Mm -hmm. um, but if you did the four warrants and two payrolls um, per month, that would solve that issue also because the bank will not allow you and they will penalize you for doing more than um, six withdrawals. And if you do it one month or two months in a row, they will actually change that account because by law you can't do that. Correct, so we've had that happen, so I've had to call the bank and um, I guess the first time around when I received a letter and it really freaked me out, um, it's pretty, you, you can't, do it because they will close the account on you. Um, let's see. So when the select boards meet, you'll have the two warrants to sign. Okay. Um, so that's for warrants. Now, is this something that we will get each week or every other week? Do you, what do you meet? We meet every other Tuesday. So on the Tuesday that you meet, you will get a two of them because you'll get them for the payroll as well as the vendors okay and you might get two warrants too so yeah. that week you would have three two yeah. warrants and a yeah. payroll okay. and that would be it until the next tuesday okay. um yeah and it would make it so much easier um for carrie sorry do you have a question i, I do but i'll wait till you're okay on. um it would make it easier yeah. for her she can start a warrant today and not post it until monday yeah you know so you know it's it's no she can add to it right along every single night if she wants to um but the posting date is when the checks go out okay. by doing that um number one your mailing is going to be much less because you're not going to be mailing checks sometimes you mail double checks to different people mm -hmm. for different warrants yeah. um so your mailing would be much much better yeah. and much less time consuming for everybody. Carrie had a question. Yes. Um, I would just like to address that in that um, there generally is only one warrant with checks on it, except the school. The school has requested that their warrants be kept separate for their record keeping. So we can talk together about how to fix that, but the school has requested that. That's why so there's- how often do you do a school warrant? Once a month. Once a month, okay. Yes. Okay. Um, the other thing is all of the other um, warrants that might be produced on the same day would be either a debit transaction, a wire transaction. Um, those things aren't put on the main warrant and that's uh, for purposes of different accounts. So how would we account for those separate? You don't do no check warrants? In uh, that warrant you, yes. you have all the checks yes. and then you can have at the bottom no checks. So you would like those separated rather than put together no, on one didn't. warrant? On one warrant. And I and you just want them separated as debit transactions or? They're, they're considered, yeah, no checks. And then, do you do a summary at the end so that, yes. um, okay, so that she can see what department those come out of? Or for instance, um, Mike does um, deposits, Correct. say to, um, perpetual care and sale of lots. Mm -hmm. So if there were a warrant to come out of perpetual care, yep. at the end of the warrant, do you do a summary so she sees how much comes out of perpetual care? Yes, okay. it is produced with each warrant. All right, and do you circle it so somehow she knows that that comes out of perpetual care? Are, are those the only accounts that are set up separately than your town accounts, your perpetual care? Um, those go all on the same warrant. They go on the same that's warrant, fine. yes. Um, but no, I don't 
circle them. Okay. What other um, what other checks or non checks come out of different accounts other than your general fund? None. They None. all come okay. out of the vendor account. Okay. So perfect. So then it, you would do your regular checks on the warrant, okay. and at the end you would do whatever you have for no checks, and then she knows that those she has to be the one that transfers that money. Okay, so I just want to verify you want everything all on one warrant mm -hmm. and just to note on the warrant summary what is debit, what is wire. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. I can do that. Who does the debits and wire? Um, we work in tandem with that. Okay. If they want to okay. use the debit card, what happens is they put the order online, place it on hold, or wherever they need to use the debit card. Yep. I produce the warrant, I bring the paperwork to Lonnie. We have an agreement that okay. she can transfer the funds prior to signature yep. because of debit situation yep. perfect um and then she transfer the money and mm -hmm. once that happens she one of us will let the department know that they're okay to use the funds yes right does that Excellent. sound works so well yeah yeah so, so before we get to the next topic mm -hmm. one of the things that happened at, at the point of monica coming on board was i handed to her the most up-to-date uh revision status of the financial policy document and i believe that's still in your office it could be i pray i, I believe she still has that okay. um, i could be wrong if you haven't seen it already she kept it right to the side of her i computer. haven't looked for it to be honest with you so okay. i don't i don't know <laughs> all right so we're gonna, we're gonna look for it yeah <laughs> and then the second piece of it is that we were all the other departments we had had a series of meetings where we got to the treasurer's office and because she was coming on board we stopped at that point to have her review what the treasurer document looked like at that time and then what, I, what I'm hearing here this morning is that we have a procedure that's in place and that it would appear that we want to modify that procedure or more codify that pro this process that you just discussed. What I would recommend, highly recommend, is we find the document, we find the reference paragraph or whatever where this fits, and that we update. And again, I have it electronically, so if it, if you can't find it electronically, I will I will resend it. And you can take the advantage of updating the procedure to say, this is what it was, this is what it wants to be, and that and essentially by doing this. We can vote, selectmen can vote to say, yep, that's what we're going to do. Yeah. And that is, that Excellent. would be the policy. Excellent. That's the policy policy, 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 financial policy. It's a notebook that's about that back. And it has all of the notes of the earlier meetings and what we did to update the various sections. And again, we were waiting for the treasurer input to stamp it and say, this mm -hmm. is the, the uh, policy, the current policy and procedure yeah. manual. Right? So I, again, I, best that we d document, and again, if you could help, Absolutely. that would be great. That would be great, thank you. And again, if, with, your, with your time here, if, if we can get circled back to that document, I think it's important. We'll look for it um, after the meeting. Um, one of the other things that's come to mind is that Lonnie doesn't have um, access to a lot of the VADAR accounts. Mm online that she needs okay um, i can adjust what you need that i believe be i need it. holly has everything so i will need all of that because right now i'm presently using hers okay so mine should mirror holly's please mm -hmm. and i don't believe as i remember the policy book that that anything to do with beta is listed there so it would be an important point at this point to update yeah, the document probably see to say that this is where everything gets done exactly mm -hmm. and again when that document was put together it wasn't it wasn't the case mm -hmm. and now it is the right. case we need to update the document how long ago was that document put in place 2017. Uh, oh, yeah. oh yeah 17 yeah. was the, the last touching of it but but the document itself goes back to like 2012 but very recently you met on that oh yes oh and okay. we had a series of meetings everybody inputted we updated Great. all we and then we got stuck at the treasurer's office and now we, we need the treasurer's yeah. input okay okay that'd and, be good and Clarence has been working with them so that we don't actually call it a regular meeting 
Okay. So he's been working with the procedure book. With them. Okay. Yeah, if you need a meeting and you need someone to chair a meeting on that topic and we want to circle back to it, when you're ready, I'm ready. Perfect. Um, are you aware of the fact that Mike wants to do online um, payments for the town clerks? Nope. Okay. Well, that was another thing oh, that was... Yeah, you could... I, I wasn't aware of that. Oh, so, uh, if I may, Michael. So, um, Stacy, who is our Unibank representative, mm -hmm. met with Michael, uh, the town clerk, about... Um, Michael was questioning whether he could get his um, dog license and virtual... Um, Gateway? Yeah. Vital records, excuse me, which are birth certificates or whatever. So I can sit at my house and I can go online and I can find my birth record for Bur Brookfield and I can pay online. Oh. So Mike sat with um, Stacy about doing that and it's absolutely doable and it's such a positive, positive streamlining situation. So, um, I mean, we would like to do it. Yeah, most towns are now doing that. And I would only say Let's document what the process yep, wants yep, to okay. do. Yep. Okay, and if I it. may. Yep. So it'll get documented and everything, but will that affect right now? So, like, is that okay to do before it's documented what, what, in the manual? What, what, okay. <laughs> what I would say is put it on a piece of paper yep. because this is nice com conversation. The fortunate yep. thing is that we have a lot of this on tape, yep. but the reality is we need a piece of paper that says we're going to do this, this, and this, and this okay. is how we're going to yep. do it. Okay. And I want all of you shaking your heads in the right direction, in the same direction. Because if you're not, we're not going to do it. Exactly. All right? Exactly. So, yeah, I, I guess. also want to look into that for the water. Yeah, department. I think that's a huge progress in this town. Oh, yeah. like everything, everything that we can digitize moving forward oh, absolutely. will make it more efficient for everyone. Yeah. But, but again, when, you, when you're going and doing the digitizing, you must, one, be in concert, and two, it must be a... a you're going to have a policy book that has a procedure, and that's what you're going to do. And if there's any question, that's what you're going to do, unless you need to change it. I spent a few years in working on that, that kind of stuff, as they, they know. Exactly. And, yeah, yeah. and so the more that you can write down so that, it's, that everybody's comfortable with it, the better. Okay. One question on that. Can we put those payments? Because Stacy was a little leery about adding more accounts to the bank. Can we have that directly into your account? No. That Michael will probably have his own account. It might be the it might be considered the treasurer's account. Okay. Um, it certainly isn't gonna be your account. <laughs> um, yeah, no, you you've got way too much going on. At this I know point, to eight pages of excise. So on Unibank. So once people get into it, they, yep. they love it. Yeah, in Paxton, we have it on the treasurer's account, um, and and it takes a while for you know everybody to get used to using it, yeah. and then Michael get used to you know things. So it's it's a learning curve for everybody. Um, Carrie, the one question I had for you was when was the last time that you actually proved with Monica? <laughs> Never. That has been an ongoing problem. Um, I was not able to balance with Keith either. Um, so my understanding was that I had hired somebody to balance both departments through fiscal 17, the end of fiscal 17, which has been done. Um, and then at the end of fiscal 18, there had been no reconciliation. So that's when Mr. Hunt was hired to reconcile um, the cash at that point. That was something I want to talk to you guys about today because the document that I got. That, yeah, I put your box. Right. There. That's just reconciliation of the treasurer's cash. My understanding was that he was supposed to be reconciling both sides. Okay, so that has not been done. No. And okay. I was expecting from conversations with both him and Monica that I would get a monthly reconciliation with the variances and that's not what I got. Okay. So I got a year-end cash balance. That's okay. it. Will you be contacting him to ask I, him about I can that? with uh, who, who hired him? Uh, Monica. Okay. So just so far just the um, treasurer's cash has just the treasurer's cash is what I received, yeah. Correct. Okay. Isn't Justin doing your side though? Isn't that no. what that all this was about? No. No? Um, FY18 was supposed to be George Hunt. Um, my balancing with 
um, the treasurer's department was just George Hunt. That was his. That was his sole project. I'll have to ask what his. Okay. Okay. All right. So. Okay. So, so I was. I was concerned when I got that. I, I, I'm glad it's reconciled with the bank, um, but with that document, I have no way of reconciling on my side with just that one document. Okay. That's it's nearly impossible. All right, so we'll have to contact him and find out what what he was hired to do. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you haven't ever reconciled with the treasurers. I the I did, um, and we are reconciled through the end of fiscal seventeen. If you'd like, I can provide you that month to month spreadsheet. I have also calculated the cash reconciliations based on the. Um, reports that my auditor did um, so that I do have month-to-month -month discrepancies okay. I can I can point out to you which which items are on my cash book which ones are on your cash book things like that um, but nothing has been okay. um, so what, I guess the best thing to do would be to speak with George and find yeah. out where the yeah. and I'll go over with you guys sure. to the reconciliation for fiscal 17 so you can see where I have um, mm -hmm. Uh, reconciled all that and then and that one does go month to month so that we can see okay so you know this check was voided on the treasurer side but I don't have documentation on my side that type of thing is what okay. we're looking for for yeah. fiscal 18 okay because we need to have um, Scanlon and associates in here to audit us and they said they wouldn't come back until we had the audit so both of you had your cash reconciled. Right. And again, I had anticipated when we got the documentation from George that it was going to be a complete reconciliation between the departments. Um, so, and that's, I can get Schedule A done now with just the reconciliation of cash. I can account for the discrepancies and report it to the DOR, as is. Um, but it is not going to be 100% and it is not going to be accurate. Okay. So, but unfortunately, given the time restraints, that's probably what we're going to wind up doing. All right. So I'll uh, I'll contact George and see what he was hired for, and then we'll go from there and okay. figure out. Okay. Right. Yeah, these are all time sensitive issues. So, um, yeah, I didn't and, and also I provided him all of my side of the documents, so I I know he had to have looked at it because I gave him all sorts of documents from my records. Right. So I'm sure he's done it. Okay. I just may not have the documentation. Okay. All right. And I didn't get an email with him from with spreadsheets or anything. So okay. if he's done it, great. If not, we'll have to figure out what we, we got to do moving forward. And another thing that I had a question on, uh, Carrie, was just your turnovers. When turnovers come into her department, do you post them as of the date of the turnover, or do you post them as of the date that they would went to the bank. Um, so a batch. I don't control that. Okay. That is 100% controlled by that department. Perfect. So when Lonnie does her receipts, mm -hmm. she does it, I'm sure you've mm -hmm. seen that yep. side already. So what happens is she transmits it over to me and then I just post it. I double check the accounting and I post it. Okay. Um, so I don't change anything mm -hmm. unless I see a, a discrepancy in an account number, mm -hmm. in which case I would change it on my end yep. and send Lonnie a copy. Perfect. I think it's only happened maybe once. Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So my date. I'm going to write this down when I get it first. Um, I think probably that answers most of our questions. Turnovers. Yep. Um, the turnovers. So for a process procedure. Um, hold on, I got to look. I would look. Oh, go ahead. I think we need to just, that, is that addressed in this policies? Yes. I don't think no. It, it is. Turnover procedure is adjusted in the policies. Do you know, Carrie, offhand what it is? Um, ideally, this is what um, should happen. We don't know it doesn't. But uh, the departments are supposed to fill out their turnover sheets and turn them into Lonnie mm -hmm. or Holly. They are supposed to sign off on the turnover sheet. Yep. Then I get a copy of the signed document. Lonnie keeps the originals and she does what she does on her end. Mm -hmm. um, what's been happening is nobody gets me a copy. 
signed anyway. I, so I have like zero signed turnovers. Excuse me, when you say signed, signed by the treasurer? Yes. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you're, since Lonnie's come back on, she has been providing me the signed copies. So that's fine. Um, the breakdown, I think, is in the people turning over their cash. Um, they are not, they do not have patience, they do not follow procedure, and they refuse to be here when the office is available. So, well, I think that's one of the things we're going to um, speak of now. So, turnovers, um, I would like to see them done once a week. I would like them to our office by 11 a.m. on Thursday. Yeah. That way they can be processed, done, and put in the bank that day. Um, checks can be put in my box outside the door. Cash has got to be handed to me. If they don't hand me cash, then that's on them. So I would like to see it done once a week, at least brought to this department, and this department will process it once a week. And then that way too, once it gets into this FADAR system, then it's a flow. It's just a constant flow. So Carrie can put into her scheduling, knowing that, oh yeah, it's Thursday, I'll be seeing turnovers put in the system. She can do what she needs to do. We can get department, and I think as Carrie just mentioned, it is departments or department heads. So I think, you know, following this procedure, yeah. we can put a memo out or- That's what I was just gonna suggest. Absolutely, yes, because, because it's a change. I, 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 it is our policy. It is our policy, but it needs to be followed. And, and it needs to be followed for a sense of accountability yes. um that old saying it does make things simpler for everyone and that whole kiss method is real it works because it's just bring your turnover in you're done now it's my turn then after that it's carrie's turn it's just a flow and they it, should i don't like they, seeing a turnovers left in the box so i don't like anybody walking away without that signature yeah. in front of them yeah. Without okay. counting that money in front of them, signing no well, cash, well, cash. No. No. Cash. or, or, checks. Mm -hmm. or yeah, checks. Yeah, but at this point, what will happen is if I run to the ladies' room, she's not at her desk. If I run out of the building, she's not yeah. at her desk. Right and now, so then it comes yeah, back to this issue. office where yeah. your treasurer is never here, yeah. and I can never give the money. Yeah. So I think if we can follow the process, I'll even get a lockbox like Brenda has and have that on the outside of my office, or the office, excuse me. But it ha cash has to be given to us. But I know what you're saying, yeah. because I don't like it either. But the problem is, is like I just said, the second someone comes in, and for, I could be in a meeting, whatever. I don't need to justify every two seconds where I'm at. And then it's gonna be a problem. And then that just makes it crazy again. So, so let's go get this yeah. document. Let's make sure that what yep. you're talking about is in that document, mm -hmm. and then this this office will will approve it. We'll approve and, it, and that's the way we're going to operate. When is your next meeting? Tuesday. This next Tuesday. week? Right. No, yeah. two. Oh, two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. Yeah. Yeah, because we'll get the odd month. April second. April second. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and with those weekly turnovers, that will also include the tax. Yeah, we were talking about that. Yeah, yeah. it'll make it yeah, so much. Brenda is just yeah. pages of trying to catch up, trying to get ahead, trying to do anything. And yeah, weekly would make your life so much easier. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so it, it really is just and yours a simple good uh, um, going forward. It will. Tr it will really. It'll make everyone's life yes. easier because. Mm. You know, you, you'll know that you have, oh, you know, I'm going to get my turnovers in. Now, by a little, they're done. They're not your problem anymore. They're ours. So it'll be make, I think, things simpler, yeah. more streamlined, yeah. more convenient, more communication if necessary. I think it'll be really, really yeah. good. I, I really do. I think it also will be, too. Yep. So I think what we'll do is sit down and compile everything for you for mm -hmm. the April 2nd meeting, okay. if you could put the documents on and we'll try to find the book yes. in the office. Yes, I'm not sure, I haven't seen it. Um, but you're in the impression, Carrie, that it never came back to the treasurer's office? I, I have not spoken to Monica since December. So, okay. but the last I knew, she had it with her at home and she was working on it. And that was uh, via right. text. So, Is it check possible? the box of paperwork, Lonnie. I'm sorry? Check the box of paperwork. It's, so it is just 
humor me. Is it a binder? What is it? Okay. It's a white binder. It's a white binder. Yeah. Okay. Have you seen it in the office, Holly? I have not. Okay. No. So is she it? She had it. She was working on it. Okay. Is it possible to contact Monica? Well, we've tried a lot of times, and she hasn't gotten back to us. We've texted her. We've called her. If I may, if you have it in an email. I have it electronically. Okay. I so, will send it to you. Correct. But has any of the changes that have been updated on the treasurer's end been sent to you so it's no. already combined? No. Okay. So it went, what, where we were is all the departments had done it with the exception of the treasurer's office. Mm -hmm. And all of that is in there. Now it's that one section. Okay. That's so this great. actually might work out better so that way the things that we are finding daily to make it a better run office for this town. So it might work out better where if it's already existing and we can add to it and update it. Right. It, and again, the notebook had the old, had the notes of why we went from old to new and then new. So I'm, what I'm going to send you is I'll send you both the old and I'll send you the recommended. And again, this office did not vote on the recommended. We, were, we wanted mm -hmm. the treasure piece yeah. to be able to then do that. So the sooner we can do that piece, that, the better. Are you voting separately per department or on the whole entire book? On the document. Yeah. On the document itself. Okay. So the original one is, is in vogue. We agreed to agree in the different meetings of procedures and process that w went into the revision. And now it's the section of the treasurer that needs to be touched. Have you also done a um, employee handbook? Hmm. That's what we're working, we're working on. on. We're working on that now for the personnel board. Okay. An employee handbook. Because that but that was my next question because yeah. I haven't yeah. seen one in that office because, either. Yeah, because that the one that we have now probably is over thirty years old. Yeah. yeah. And it's included in with the town bylaws, so we want to get a vote of the town to take it out of the town bylaws. Okay. So that if we have any changes that need to go on any classifications that you know the selectmen can have control and you know they can if we want to add a job then you know they can vote to add the job instead of having to wait for a town meeting to come around <coughs> and do it at Excuse town me. meeting. So, that's so when an employee starts within the town do they get any anything that tells them what their no benefits no nothing? what this is what we want to do with this policy and handbook for the employees. This is what they will get. So do do employees have so many sick days or anything like that? Oh, yeah. Holly yeah. Yeah. can probably tell yeah. you more on okay. that. Okay. How many they have. All right. They have a package and everything. It's, it's, it's explained to them when they... Okay. Mm -hmm. If they're sent up, that's the problem. Yeah. Uh, we do have department, like the school, well, obviously yeah. they're not, but um, right. there are departments, though, we'll just receive paperwork. And that is another. They don't issue come that directly to be here. And that isn't care. Of. Yeah, we've yep. been trying to yep. change that for quite a while, but there are still departments that don't. I believe um, there's a procedure. I'm sorry, to interrupt you. A procedure in place for that where they should come to the treasurer's office because mm -hmm. this, we have the paperwork. Yeah. Um, I can see if an office has a copy of maybe they want to change the direct deposit, and they can't make it up here because they leave at three or what mm -hmm. have you. Fine, yeah. but. Um, Kind of goes with the turnovers well, that yeah. departments don't want to follow procedure. Yeah. We do get, well, I didn't know you offered that, or yeah. I right. don't know who you are. And, <laughs> yeah, and, exactly. and they should come to our office because yeah, we're the ones that, you know, that, that they, I mean, we, we handle their paychecks. So they might want to come and so we can be introduced to, and they can ask yeah. questions, and they can look at their file if need be. I mean, it's it's you, you, it's an intimate relationship with the employee kind of at that office that level. Yeah. yeah. So you are working on that, and that's all. You know. Yeah. 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 Great. That's good. Excellent. Can you think of anything else? Um. So. It's a work in progress, for everyone. I don't know what the procedures are in place for certain things. But if we change them, I think that it will be really good. And I think that it will be good for everybody. It's going to streamline so many things. Um, the other thing is, I also know this is, this is not an overnight miracle happening. I know that. So um, after we present the board with um, our updated policy manual, 
if that's what you say April 2nd yep okay so if we have it done by then and you vote on it um I guess either the within the by May 1st I would like to see the procedures in place and well let's make it real simple yeah. I'll give you a document that was the original and that is what you're supposed to be living to today whether mm -hmm. you like it or not mm -hmm. what there's a section which is the revision that in fact yours the, the treasurer's office didn't change mm -hmm. because of the original so it really would behoove you to provide the changes from original to now as to how we want to operate or how, how we are operating mm -hmm. and such that we can approve the document as of april 2nd yes. and okay. that's the way we're going to live yeah Perfect. Correct. Yes. And, and that will be communicated to all departments. Mm -hmm. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. I, I think. Um, is there any kind of ramification if they don't? I mean, it seems like. Well, if we need to. Put it's a good idea, but they're not going to do it. You know. I'd um, like to think that everybody will. Yeah. I think it would be. Um, you know, it, it's not about pleasing me. It's not about pleasing I get you. It. It's yeah. about pleasing the rules and the regulations and the laws and, and just the flow and, and the public and the citizens of this town. So I really think right. that here you have a good a close group of people who work here as well as who are um, active in the community. So I, I don't, I'd like to say I think everybody will follow suit. I really do. And if not, well, then. Then we'll have to figure that out. No, well, the selectmen will have to deal with it. Yeah, right. we'll deal with them. Sooner than later. Yep, I agree. <laughs> I think it's I think it's a positive note going we've forward. Gotta get, we've got to get things back on track. I mean, we've had so many different turnovers the last couple of years, so we've got to get things back on track and have everything running smooth. Yep, yep, yep. We have to. Wonderful. Yes. So, I guess for us. Um, Thank you all for coming and You're listening. Welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, Brenda, do you have anything at all that you would like to add? No, not really. Okay. No, I didn't know if you did. Just keep doing what you're doing. Yes. <laughs> Just continue doing what you're doing. We've been working together trying to get to the bottom of some little issues. And do do you okay? feel as though you need to have a clerk? I would like to. Um, things have changed, I think, in the last five or ten years with collection so, you know I went from one account to you know, four or five and the online payments are time-consuming they're you know um, I would love to have one and when I take time off I I know in the back of my head that I've got you know double or triple my workload when I do come back so it's not really enjoyable <laughs> um, I don't know it's just it, I would love to but I don't know if that's Realistic. At the moment. Well, you know, we have to figure out and see if there will be any money in any account yeah. you know, that we could fund, you know, say the collector's clerk. And it's, it's an odd situation because it seems like February and it's when the collections like right yeah. now, I sent out you know, four or five thousand uh, four or five thousand excise bills plus Janu uh, February 1st, all the uh, real estate was due. Yeah. So it's a crazy busy time right now and then trying to you know get these guys uh, fix that mess and it's just so it's but then next month that might be fine so it's just it's I guess and then May 1st is going to come rolling around yeah and, and then I'm trying to trying to take so, some vacation this year but it's you know. so is there uh, an agency that you can hire temp I don't know I I I'm just one didn't go well, so. Well, I'm just, I'm just because you've got the off and on. Mm -hmm. the Are there other departments that have a similar situation? Um, I know in Paxton we're we're hiring a municipal employee, um, and that person will help the town clerk when um, the town clerk puts out the census and has, I don't know. 3,000 envelopes to, yeah. to open coming back. Um, and that time is usually January mm -hmm. um, when the town clerk yeah. is extremely busy. And then that person would go into the collector's office and help 
the same way yeah. um, when the collector is extremely busy and that person would be able to cover um, it, just opening the mail and mm -hmm. that kind of stuff um, when someone's on vacation and they're going to call it a municipal employee um, and she's going to help with the water department, DPW and kind of float around yeah. uh, when the different like departments. Hmm? Well, I thought we did yeah. have that in 12th place. Lois is a municipal yeah. uh, clerk. I don't know. She might have her hands full of them. So know. we also have, um, I'm sorry. I, I just have a few things to add to that. I think what you say is a, is a good idea. Um, we've recently, I think it makes sense to hire somebody in-house, somebody that's computer savvy to cover for Brenda when she's mm -hmm. on vacation. Yeah. Biggest complaints is when she's gone, you've got those issues. I mean, you just yeah. hired somebody to help carry here five hours you established an account for that you know if you had to add a little to that you use that same person you don't have to go out you can't, and hire you can't use the same person that Carrie has because she just got a new title as an assistant assessor and the assessors commit the bills to the tax collector and they can't <coughs> work for the tax collector so you're saying it's a conflict of interest yes. conflict of interest uh, yes. <coughs> okay so that role Sorry. For that role. For that role. That particular yeah. individual yeah. that role. Well, she can't, the, the, she can't the, work for... That's right. why I was going to suggest, but I didn't know that. No, okay, so not. we have, we can't do that. So, yeah. that, okay, that door's closed. What, what door's open? The door's open that Brenda needs stuff, he needs stuff in January, she needs stuff in, in February, March, May, and May. And, yeah, so what I would recommend is since, whether we can do it between now yes. and then, Linda. Mm -hmm. The reality is yes, we we're do. looking at the physical budget yes. for next year. Yes. Uh, guess what? Mike, Brenda, make sure that there's a either a mutual line or whatever mm -hmm. in your FY20, right? Uh, budget. And Keep let's working. let's yeah. let's we have we have to get there. It just then. gives some coverage. Absolutely. I mean, basically yes. it counts yeah. for vacation time. One of the things that improved this year was when excise taxes were due, or real estate taxes, all of us got together and we yeah. stuffed in. We got it done. We did it in short order. Perfect. That saves you a tremendous Two amount hours. of time. Yeah. So yeah. that's when we're all working in unison. We can make a di you know, a big difference. Yeah. So that's a, a, a money saver. And you know, we all cover for yeah. each other when yeah. we can. Yeah. You know, when somebody's gone. So. We're Water good, and I don't think it's. <laughs> I don't think this has to be a real costly thing either. Yeah. I mean, because we're just covering some ground on the busy times and when Brenda's away. So, it's it's. It, I think it's simple. I don't think we have to make Could it complicated. Could we maybe talk to Tantasco about some sort of an internship with their business program, where it wouldn't cost the town anything? I would pay. Again, my experience with interns yeah. is if you're really serious about it. Well. I would first go put the hours in there so the dollars are yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely yeah. that. Where you have interns, yes, you can get some volunteer stuff because it's a project and it's six or eight weeks or whatever. But if you want a continuous yeah. flow, yeah. you really, you, you really got to pay them, identify them, and and be able to discipline them if there's issues. It's hard to train people because you don't have the time to train people. Right. So I don't want to. Yeah. Good and idea. I think no. what Mike is saying is correct. I, I've been rehired um, to be the part-time um, assistant treasurer collector. And I only do 12 hours a week. And we're larger than Paxton. And all I do really is the collection side. Um, and it's, it's amazing what 12 hours a week can do to mm -hmm. help. And I do cover when the treasurer collector is on vacation and that kind of stuff, but I don't go over my 12 hours. Mm -hmm. And it works, it works. Um, no benefits, no, no vacation mm -hmm. time, but I know that when she's on vacation, I'm working that week mm -hmm. and we just work it out. Mm -hmm. So it can, if you get the right person, <coughs> you're right. It can really work you well for you. You suggested putting less office hours, which that's another option. Another option. Public 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 right, operation. exactly. And, and yep. something else, too, I think, too, you're, you're going to be having a new office, and I think it's too congested out here, actually, yeah, to yes. have your office out there. You need, you know, you need quiet so you can Absolutely. concentrate on things. Right now, I'm like the face of the town hall. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah. I was out yeah. there all those years. Yeah. I know. You know. You do. Yeah. So I think you're all doing the right Right yeah. things, the right yeah. steps, and you just have to continue yeah. in that mode. 
And that's what that's what our goal is to strive. So as Lonnie to said, thank you guys all so much for okay. Okay. for working yes. together and and everybody helping one another because I think we'll get balanced <laughs> from 2017. <laughs> Great. I think okay. this is a productive meeting. I want to thank yes, you thank all you. for coming in. Yes. Great. Thank you. Okay, well, we have a few more things on the agenda, so okay. if you want to come back in. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, actually, though, Holly probably ought to stay for the other. And these two things will take a little bit of time. Oh, <laughs> Okay, the next one on our agenda, is, Karen, was this under? Cemetery deeds, that so you're going to the cemetery yeah, the deeds. deeds. Okay, we have a cemetery, oh, okay. a cemetery deed to sign yeah, here. Um, that was so Okay, the cemetery deed that was sold here is the Greg Afton of 19 Main Street here in Brookfield. And um, we have to sign it, so I would like motion for the selectmen to sign motion, it. Motion to sign. What um, number second. is that? What, what number is that? Oh, you want the deed number? Yeah. It's deed uh, 334. Thank you. Motion for the Board of Selectmen to sign this. You and have I'll that second motion. It. Yep. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, we have two. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. And my motion to sign two, two cemetery records. What's that number, Linda? Huh? What's the number on that one? Uh, this is 333. D333. Three, 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 three. three. Yeah. And this is from Melissa Palmer of 176 Rice Connor Road, Brooklyn. Do you have that motion? Oh, I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. agenda here is to um, add a um, adopt a new position title uh, with the um, we have the Collins says well, everyone knows the Collins Center was in and they had did job evaluations of everyone and that uh, they had su suggested for the administrative assistant they uh, to be a different title they, they would like it to be called executive assistant to the board of selectmen and I mean, her deeds, some of her duties have changed, but I, I agree with, it was Mary McCarthy, is that her name, Mary? Right. Ma and yep. I agree with Mary that we should change the, the uh, title. The we, title is consistent with the job description. Yes, and I'd like to have a motion for Motion that. to update that okay. particular and Holly, do you title. have anything to say about this at all? No, I, I agree. You agree also yes. with it? With the title change, absolutely. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll second that. and. All in favor? Aye. That was easy. Under other, you have a wage authorization. Oh, yeah. We, yeah from yesterday, yeah. <laughs> okay. And we have a wage authorization for Stephen Stanley. Uh, he was hired by the fire department as, uh, as a firefighter for $12.81 an hour. Motion to approve. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Well, I know that Mary Lou wanted to be present during uh, that. Okay. She wanted to um, 
she actually was going to see if she could be put on the agenda at some point okay. so that we could come and explain to the select board. Okay. So let's schedule something for the next week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so did you... Um, yes and we also need to go to the advisory board. Now, I, I missed uh, yesterday's meeting, so did you come to an agreement on the um, on the steps in the grade that approved it by the board? Well, it's it's... It's basically the step, we didn't move up a step, it's the step that where everybody in town will be getting the raise. Yes. Okay. Um, it varies, but they did move it where everybody will be getting something. Oh, okay. Everybody. So, mm -hmm. okay. we didn't move the extra step like we had discussed the meeting before, but it's just this, the first step. Yeah. Everybody's going to be starting at the first step. Yeah, and we were, well, no, I attended the last meeting. I know we talked about we want to see how much it was actually going to affect the town by moving everything. Yeah. Okay. Because we are very, we found very out. Very She did do up a spreadsheet. Yeah. Great. She did a spreadsheet. It's it's uh, it's great to, to look at it. You'll understand it once you see it. But um, she did a lot of work on that. So. And then we found out from doing the survey you know, the common center that Brookfield was one down the bottom of the barrel on paying him employees. Yeah. Really? And we have to get we have to get them up because we've got good people here and we we want to keep our people. And we don't want the turnover. No, we don't want the turnover. Yeah. We had too much turnover in the last few years, so we want to keep them. So we, we gotta work at this. Yeah, it is and the, and the advisory board has to be you know well aware of this. Yeah, well and that gets back to that clear government thing grant that uh, Kathy's yeah. applying for mm -hmm. so that we'll have documentation as to our peers yeah. and what they're doing. Not that we have to pay more than our peers, nope. but just be consistent such that we, yeah. that you don't have the skipping from town to town just because of a dollar here or a yeah. dollar there. Mm -hmm. And then also, weren't you, we were also discussing like a longevity. Too. Longevity, yes. Mm -hmm. For how so long? If, could you five, 10, 15, 20 yeah. years. Because a lot of the communities do have that because, you know, after you've had an employee here for five years, you kind of know they're not going to be going in this place. So we want to be able to keep them here in our community. Well, we can. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah, I would recommend that we schedule a time, you know, similar to this so the Mary Lou can be present yeah. sooner than okay. later. Yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah, probably a, morning, probably a morning meeting would be better. All right, just let me know when she yeah. can attend and yeah. we'll schedule. I'll give her a call today and ask her. Because what we want to do, you know, when town meeting comes up, we, we would like to vote to take the uh, personnel vote bylaws out of the regular bylaws and we want to call it a policy book. Yep. And then what we can do, the town council has mentioned that what we can do, then the selectmen will have the control over them. And so, like, if we want to add a class job classification, we don't have to wait for town meeting. The selectmen can approve of adding that. And again, back to the peer group of towns, knowing mm -hmm. what they do and what we, we do. Mm -hmm. Having it as a part of bylaws does not make sense. No, it doesn't it make curves. sense curves. because we have to wait around for a town meeting to come to do anything with it. Right. And so that's what we like to do. And there are so, so many details, and again, that's why I asked Holly to, yeah. to stay. There's so many details around human resources mm -hmm. that you have to be cognizant of today. Okay. And you can't wait for a town no, meeting you as, as town you have meeting. these mandates that come at you. Mm -hmm. So it's, we, we need to get, just as we have this financial policy yes. documented and updated, we have to have a, an, a, an HR policy yes. and procedure such yes. that yes. it's clear. Because again, the letter that you received yesterday, again, I don't want to mention names because it, uh, of the sensitivity of mm -hmm. personnel issue, uh, but we missed something, it, it appears, Holly. And so with that, w though we can't cover the shortfall, and the individuals responsible for the shortfall. Yes. We. This is a perfect example of why that document mm -hmm. needs to be in place. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then when you know, and then when we have a new hire, the new hire will get this book, and they will sign that they have this book. That if there's anything that goes on, you know, they they say, oh, we need to understand this. We have something saying, you sign to take this book, and you'll understand the policies and procedures. In right. This book. So I'm going to jump ahead just because the letter is sitting between Harley mm -hmm. and I that you can respond or you would respond to this that the town essentially yeah. can't pay the or short the treasurer fee. should probably. Respond? Yeah. yeah. The, we, uh, Monica was in touch with Worcester Regional. Um, 
it is, we are not responsible as a town no. for, for this right. at all. They, yeah, this is something that would have been taken out anyway, so yeah. we're not responsible. And this also goes along with, um, I'm not saying this individual, mm -hmm. but when you're hired for a certain amount of hours, you don't have that extra 2% being taken out. And all of a sudden, these people are just working hours. No, nobody notifies yeah. us that their hours are increased or if they were even supposed to increase. And they should have fallen oh, into that 2%. So, we so, don't know that. So yeah. it's not any one particular fault, but- No, but, there are different situations. So, yeah. so you, may, you bring up a good point, Holly. So let's go find this notebook because mm -hmm. all our notes are there, right. right? Let's go find that and that, that would be a perfect place right. where this mm -hmm. needs to be notified mm -hmm. Absolutely. That, that, that yes, as these yes. hours accrue, you need to know. And we're you, not aware of it. And we're not aware. We're not aware of it. And we need to improve communication mm -hmm. between the departments. Exactly. And it's all That's good. Important. It, it, not good for this individual, yeah. it's going to be a couple hundred bucks out of the pocket, yeah. but the reality is we, we'll get it done. Yeah. Yeah. I received a letter too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. But no, I, I, I think coming from you, Linda, yeah. as far as the, and for Karen's benefit, that I mean, the first part of the, the, the letter is that the town isn't responsible, yeah. unfortunately, okay. but that we in fact look to updating the policy book to identify the shortfall mm -hmm. such that it doesn't happen. Like that was just one of the examples there are. I'm yeah. sure there are others. Right. And again, mm -hmm. Holly, if you could take some time, if we can, uh, I'll send the electronic copies, mm -hmm. but if you can look at the I'm thing. I'm gonna run in there now and help them. I, I might know where it is. Oh, perfect, thank <laughs> you. Hopefully. Okay, Holly, I'm, thank I'll still you. send it electronic. Yes, yes, All absolutely. Right. Super. Okay, thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Holly. Great. Okay, do we have, Mike, do you have anything else to bring up? Yeah, just briefly, um, did, did you folks already um, put out the, the ad for the highway superintendent? I didn't get him doing no. it today. Okay, I just saw I a few to things. Run it by, that, um, by Cindy to the, the summary. Okay. Oh, okay. You know, I, I had an opportunity to look at it, and I, I was just uh, concerned because I heard, I heard some talk that, you know, that one of the things we're doing is we're, we're the job description says we're looking for somebody with you know a degree in civil engineering, you know, and uh, yeah, prefer, no, there, there's right, there's, yeah. there's there's a section of yeah. required and then preferred. So yeah, so it does say preferred. So yeah. we're we're not. And then, then I heard that that because that was in there that we may conceivably be hiring two people because one no. person would, that's not going to happen, right? No. Uh, how would that, how would I, that I, I don't know, you know, somebody to be a laborer and somebody to be more like the What I will the tell bachelor, you, you know, oh, I will be very clear with you, Mike. I will be very clear because this is important. Speaking of hiring of employees, yeah. mm -hmm. in the recommendation to the advisory board by the highway superintendent that we have additional resources available to the highway department. Herb received, that I received, because of this open space deal, a document that's about four pages long of things that we have not been doing that citizens are upset with. And as far as that work and how, who's going to do that work, that work hasn't been done by the highway department. I would say that the highway department is pretty, pretty well busy with, with yeah. the stuff that they're responsible to do. And this, this list of things that are citizen, citizen requests that we get our act together, basically, and, and maintain these monuments and the, and the like. That we got to, somebody's got to go do the work. Yeah. And so, if there's discussion, rumor mill, whatever, as far as people out on the street worried about hiring two people, yes, the highway department put in the budget to the advisory board that we secure another individual as a as a laborer yeah. worker. Yeah. And so that is there. Yeah. And now we need to hire a highway superintendent. And like I told Karen this morning, she can like put a brief synopsis of what is in it and tell them that they uh, all, you know, they need all the different hauler licenses, the licenses, and plus tell them that this is a working supervisor position. Yeah, that's what I really that's was, was I, concerned yeah, about. Oh, yeah, it it does seem Karen. to define that, but it was, it was getting to the point, well, we're not going to have some guy behind the scenes that's not going to be laboring and then have to hire somebody no. else to, no, no, no. you know, I just, I, no, I saw a description, I got a little concerned. Oh, no. And then the link to the website, it just looked a little alarming when it, it discussed mm -hmm. about all the liabilities that come with it. it. It almost made it look like it was 
a little scary for a person coming on with all the liabilities, and I was just going to suggest you may not want to incorporate that. I have right a copy now. of it, right? I think I did. Did you? I put did, some copies in there, Linda. Right. No, if, I didn't you, change. If you any. see, you if you see that, I, I've seen I would just suggest. I wrote it yesterday. Mm -hmm. You know, you might want to. Well, I'll make sure that the liability, that information isn't in the summary so we don't scare them away, but it will be in the... I mean, it's I an understanding. I understand yeah, right. that. But, so the but she full, should not put a brief thing. And then, but then it'll, then when you link on, it's going to be put up to the newspaper yeah. and posted various places, and then it will ask you to go on brookfieldma.us yeah. on employment opportunities, and then this... Um, will be. Yeah, I know. If when you guys I see that, that is just the last. Okay, so th do you want to take line. anything off, or you want me to put? Let me know. No, that's the document. That's the document. It's that's the job description. I understand that. Okay, all right. It has been adopted. We can't beat and switch. Yeah, absolutely. It's been adopted. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Yeah, it is what it is. Unfortunately. Yeah. Well, I hope we get somebody. Cross so. your fingers. I yeah. hope you do too. Okay. okay, so I think that is probably it. Right. I'd like to make a motion to adjourn at 10.40. Yeah, I'll have you have that motion. Uh, I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye.